Oh my god, this was posted by Aaron Reed. Oh my god, Missouri AG, Attorney General, just essentially banned gender-affirming care for most trans adults via emergency rule. Requires three years of diagnosed dysphoria, 18 months of therapy sessions, doesn't allow people with autism or depression. That's the big one. Pushing back the weight is a big deal, and it really sucks, but what's really affecting people, because for the, for the most part, most trans people are going about that long before medically transitioning. Um, it's, it's generally a longer process of, of figuring that out. And like, you, you know, trying out, like, I guess, you know, sort of trying out, they call it like, if you're trans woman girl moding or if you're, a uh, or no, like, no, it's the other way around when you're not, it's a whole thing. Like there, I, I, it's trans lingo. Basically, if you're tuned into trans culture, you'll understand that like, there's usually a fairly large amount of time between like identifying as trans, starting to like transition socially and then transitioning med medically, but still putting bans on like how long it has to take is really like, it's really fucked. But the final one is doesn't allow autism or depression. And that is the one that is having the biggest impact. There are tons of trans people in Missouri who have autism or depression, and most trans people have depression if they are not able to access their uh, gender-affirming care. So being depressed, which is basically a staple of being trans and not having trans-affirming care, disqualifies you to transition in Missouri. It is now illegal to be trans and to get gender-affirming care uh, surgery or treatment in Missouri. Besides very niche, very niche scenarios, it is now illegal to medically transition in Missouri. The United States has now made it illegal to transition in one of its free American states. This is just the beginning. They said they didn't want to do this years ago. They were just going after, you know, making sure kids weren't on hormone blockers or whatever, even though they're reversible. But now it's preventing adults because that's what this applies to. Adults, doesn't matter what your age is, this applies to you. Tra you are banned from being trans in Missouri. Get the fuck out of there. Get out of Missouri, get out of Florida. They're the bulwarks of anti-trans legislation. Do they just want a pile of dead bodies? Yes. Yes. How many times do I have to tell you, these people are evil. They hate you. They say as much. They want to kill you. They are advocating and passing laws to justify killing you and outlawing your existence from society. They hate you. They are terrified of you. They want to eradicate you. They've been saying it pretty openly for a little while now. That is why you need to be prepared to protect yourself. Self-defense is still legal in this country. And you better believe you better invoke that right if someone tries to take your right to live away from you. It is completely legal to defend yourself in this country if your life is threatened. That is not an, like a call to terrorism like liberals will call it. It is a call to be ready to defend yourself. Aaron Reed goes on to say, This is probably the most impactful news I've covered since the Texas Eternal Attorney General letter that targeted the parents of trans youth with child abuse. This will have huge repercussions, and I anticipate other states to follow suit. We are firmly in the ground of targeting in the ground of targeting trans adults now, and this is going to be the next front of attack on trans people. They 100% intend to eliminate all of our care entirely. Stockpile your medication and be there for your peers. Stockpile your meds too. If you're in a red state and you're actively able to get your hands on estrogen and whatnot, stockpile it. Get as much as you can for when it gets banned. I would be shocked if this were not immediately enjoined. Uh, I am still gathering info on all of this. I plan to report on on it all in a story later. Please be sure to subscribe to support my work. And she links her uh, her blog. 
Banning gender-affirming care for depression is like banning Tylenol if the patient has a headache. Saying the headache must resolve first. Exactly. This is, uh, it's, it's segment E of the bill. Fails to ensure that any psychiatric symptoms from existing mental health com uh, comorbidities of the patient have been treated and resolved. That means you have to be in perfect mental health in order to transition in the state of Missouri. This is literally impossible since transitioning is the medically agreed upon treatment for the mental health issues caused by dysphoria and not being able to transition. The autism ban for trans adults is especially bad and will target a large number of trans adults with concurrent autism diagnoses. That's the big one. You literally just can't transition at all legally in the state of Missouri if you're autistic. There's no cure for autism. You just don't get that you are banned from transitioning. There, It's part of their push to say that uh, trans people, a lot of them are just autistic and they've been confused because they believe like autistic people are, are like not capable of understanding anything, um, have been confused into being trans. This rule will also uh, will go into effect on April 27th. Be ready. There may be legacy, grandfather, clause for people who start before, uh, before then, depending on the interpretation of 1C. If you want to read more about this rule, I cover it in detail here. This is a nuclear bomb on trans people in Missouri. It effect its effects will be felt for years if it goes into effect. Subscribe to support my work. Listen, liberals have been time and time again screeching from the rooftops there is no trans genocide. No one wants to do a trans genocide hell. Where's that one clip? What's Where's that one Sansol clip? Liberals are, like, desperate to argue there is no trans genocide. In fact, like, they're so desperate to argue it, it doesn't matter what you present to them from the right of them saying things about trans people, they will still say it's not genocidal. For example, here's a clip of someone... Debating a super lib streamer, Sansol, and quoting a Nazi book about how the Jews need to be exterminated and their evil corruption on society, but replacing Jew with trans. Reciting it, like literally reciting just a Nazi propaganda, but replacing Jew with trans. And then in response, Sansol not only believes, realistically, it came out of a Republican's mouth, but says it's not genocidal rhetoric. Because they have to believe politics is highly respectable and it cannot get we're, we're in a very like cooler minds will always prevail in politics that is what they believe it is what they must believe we cannot go into like the hyper everything's falling apart and shit's going to shit's hitting the fan uh stage of politics that will never happen america's just too stable and perfect for that anyway let's watch letter from a girl from tampa Dear Matt Walsh, I attend a well-known Christian high school in Tampa. Unfortunately, we still have a lot of trans students, and unfortunately, it's customary that many girls are close friends with these trans. On special days, when we wear our uniforms to school, these girls in uniforms walk around the schoolyard arm in arm with their trans friends. If someone wants to make it clear to the relevant Christian students their conduct, they say trans people are people too, and Eva is a really modest, respectable, nice girl. The bad thing is their parents are also the same opinion. I consider such friendships to be very dangerous because the trans subtly but surely corrode the girl's soul with their ruinous views. At least in most cases, a 14-year-old girl is too inexper inexperienced to see through the deviousness and actual intent of the trans friends. I myself am barely 15 years old and therefore incapable of proving to my classmates how stupid their opinions are and that pity for trans is pure suicide. Therefore, I'd like to ask you, can't your blog do more about it? It'd certainly be successful because girls are far too unenlightened about the details of trans ideology. Normal boys certainly don't have trans friends anymore. And if this isn't the case yet with girls, it's only because no one is there to thoroughly explain everything to them. Ursula from Tampa. The reply from Matt Walsh is, "Dear oh, no, little we're Ursula, little, we're hearing his response to how long is his response?" No, no, it's like it's like a two sentence. Section. Okay, cool. But, Dear little Ursula, your letter made daily wire happy. You're a girl that a time like ours needs. Even though you're only 15 years old, you are much more advanced in your knowledge of the trans ideology than people older than you. Always speak up freely. Okay, do you feel like this article is genocidal? No, it sounds very hateful, though. Um. What if I told you that I took an article from Der Sturmer and just replaced Jew with trans? Uh, it sounds very hateful, but it's not necessarily genocidal. So, so a article from Der Sturmer in 1935 
about Jewish people where I just literally just replaced certain words is not genocidal to you. But, yeah, do you think that this is a gotcha? Do you know what yeah, genocide oh, no, I means? Think this is a, I think this is an amazing gotcha. I think that it shows that you are incapable of uh, recognizing okay, so is, genocidal okay. intent okay, even so, when it's directly in front of you. So what? Yep. These people are dead set on denying that politics can get that ugly here in America. And I really just think it's blatant denial. They just want to believe that, like, there is no way for politics to get that vitriolic and that insane. And maybe, the, and if it does, it's because of the left. That's the only way, the area where they'll see it. It's like BLM riots is when the, the only time when politics gets this crazy. Meanwhile, like, the right is actively, like, championing the guy... Donald Trump, who called for a goddamn insurrection at the Capitol to overturn the election and our democracy. You really can't win with these centrist motherfuckers. They're not even liberals, they're just centrists.